All right, so let's get started with this uh, video on posting groups. So, but first, at the end of this video, you will understand what posting groups are and how they are used in NAV. You will also understand how to, how to set up new posting groups. So the concepts that we are going to be uh, focusing on are customer posting groups and vendor posting groups. It's general business posting groups and general product posting groups. It's VAT posting group, business posting groups and VAT product posting groups and inventory uh, posting groups. And um, prerequisite, uh, basic understanding of accounting, debit and credit. So it's rather, it's rather uh, a good idea or it is really a prerequisite that you understand at least, uh, at least the, the, the fundamentals of, uh, of bookkeeping. Otherwise, it will be difficult to understand. So you should also watch this video uh, numerous times because it's, it's one of the more complicated areas of NAV. And then I would really recommend that you watch some of my other videos. If your uh, understanding of accounting isn't so good, I have a video which um, goes through a number of exercises, uh, debit credit exercises, and I explain um, a little bit of um, a little bit of basic accounting theory, but in the context of uh, NAV. I also have some other videos on, uh, I have a video which is called setting up a new company which basically takes you from the point where you click new company and all the way to uh, being able to um, post uh, purchases and sales. And then I have a number of videos which go de goes deeper into um, various posting scenarios. So you should watch those as well. So posting groups, what are they used for? Well, they are used to answer one simple question, and that is which accounts to post to. Not so much how much or which amount to post to, to but specifically which accounts. So which account numbers should NAV post to when you click the post button. The amounts are calculated automatically by NAV, but NAV needs to know which accounts it should book these different uh, entries to. And that is done with posting groups. So let's look at this slide, which deals with the, how NAV is uh, thinking when you post. So let's consider a transaction where you are buying one book for $10 and the VAT is 20. So when you click post on this particular purchase order or purchase invoice, what really happens then? Well, first NAV calculates which amounts. It knows that it needs to calculate uh, or arrive at uh, $10 debit for a purchase. 12 for some payables, some VAT, direct cost applied, and inventory. So these amounts, it's uh, perfectly capable of, of calculating those without the, per the, the posting setup. But then once it has calculated those amounts, it, it looks in, it, the next question that it has is, but which number is the purchase account? So which number in the GL is the purchase account and which number, or in other words, which number in the GL do I need to book or post these $10 to? It doesn't know that at this point in time. So which account should I post these uh, different amounts, these five entries to? Well, the way that it concludes that is by looking into the posting groups and the posting setup. So this is another representation of the basic concept of the posting groups. So in the middle here you have your chart of accounts, which is where all your financial data is recorded. And then you have the different modules um, represented by these different blue boxes here. So let's consider somebody working in the inventory module in NAV. That would typically be somebody working in the, in the warehouse or somebody at least who doesn't have an understanding of uh, finance and accounting and, uh, and chart of accounts. So when they perform certain operations, let's say they do a positive adjustment in the, in the inventory module, obviously that would have to have some financial implications. But these people do not know how to book that into the chart of accounts. So when they click post, NAV needs to understand which accounts in the chart of accounts um, needs to be affected. 
and this is done by the posting setup or the posting groups. Another example is when, as the one we just uh, uh, had a look at, is when you use the purchase module, for example, to raise a purchase invoice. When you click post, NAV needs to um, understand which accounts in the chart of accounts it should post those five amounts to. And the numbers, the, 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 the account numbers of those accounts are found via the posting groups and the posting setup. So this is the first slide uh, about a, the p one particular posting group called the general posting groups. And the general posting groups are used to find accounts such as the a sales account and the sales credit memo account. And if we were to continue further out this way, you would also see some purchase accounts. And general posting groups, I usually say, is all about the what and the who. And by what we mean typically an item, and by who you mean an, a customer or a vendor. So the way that general posting groups work is that over here you can see you have a, a, a snip, snippet of an item card. So this is a, a tiny picture of a part of the item card. And on the item card you will find the general product posting groups. And you can see that this particular item has been set up to, in, to the, um, the, the general product posting group called Retail. Also on the customer card, I think this is a customer card, um, you have a uh, field called general business posting group. Um, by the way, um, note that the difference between this, these two fields are the product here and the business here. And the product really is another word for item. Uh, and the business really is another word for either customer or vendor. So on this customer or vendor card, uh, let's say it's a customer card, you have the general business posting group and it is EU. So this ties in with the who. So in other words, you are signifying that this particular customer belongs to the EU. And then when you post a transaction, if, if, if it's a customer card, this will typically be a, a sales transaction. And um, if it's a vendor card, this was typ would typically be a purchase transaction. So when you raise your sales invoice and you raise it against this customer, NAV will find this customer and its customer card and it will find this general business posting group. It will see that the customer belongs to this general business posting group. It will then also realize that um, the item you have put on your sales order is a, an item that belongs to the retail group. And then it will go down to determine which account to post to. Recall that posting groups are not so much about which amounts but rather which accounts to post to. So when it has calculated these different postings, typically in a, in a, in a purchase or sales transaction, it's five uh, entries into the GL. And when it has created one of these, um, it will go in order to find the sales account. The sales account was one of those five entries. In order to find the sales account, if it's a sales invoice, it will go into the general posting setup and it will look at these two columns, the general business posting group and the general product posting group. And it will I look scan all the way down here and it will, it will find that line which um, matches the posting groups of the item and the customer. In this case, it's this line here. Because you can see this is an EU general business posting group, which was the, the customer belonged to the EU. And this has retail, which is the same as the item card has. So it will identify this line and then it will start looking out for the particular um, type of account that it is looking for. In this case, when we book a sales invoice, it was looking for the sales account. And it will conclude that one of those five entries, that is the sale, will need to be posted to account 6120. So the next slide is called inventory posting groups and it relates to the, well, inventory posting groups. On uh, the item card, you will have another field called inventory posting group here. And it's not the same as the one we saw on the previous slide 
I'll just go back one slide. So it's not the same as the general product posting group, although they are both on the item card. This is a separate field. And this particular item belongs to the uh, inventory posting group finished. And then when you post a sales order or a purchase order, on the lines of that order, you will have a field called location code. And in this case, the location code is set to green. So locations are can be different places, uh, different warehouses where you keep your stock. If you are a bigger company, you might have several uh, warehouses or locations spread around the country. So when you post a sales order or a purchase order, um, NAV looks at at what um, what item you are either selling or buying and it from that item it picks up which item posting group it is and it picks up which location you are either selling or buying to and it goes down into what is called the inventory posting setup and then once again it identifies the relevant line in this case it needs to identify uh, in the location code it needs to find a line with with the value of green and in the inventory posting group it needs to identify a line with finished so in this case this is the only line that matches those two criteria and then it starts looking out here and finds the um, type of posting that it or the type of account that it needs when you do um, when you do sales or purchase orders your inventory is uh, is impacted so one of those five entries that we will see on either a sale or an or a purchase has an inventory element so when nav looks for the inventory account it will find 2120 based on the inventory posting group finished the location green identify this line and conclude that the inventory account for this particular transaction is 2120 the next slide here deals with vendor posting groups and customer posting groups. They are less complex uh, or easier to understand than the two previous slides because it doesn't combine two things to find out which accounts to post to. It, uh, in the case of vendor posting groups, uh, you have the vendor posting group um, field on the vendor card. And in this case, the vendor is set to domestic. And when you are purchasing something, either on a purchase order or on a purchase um, invoice, uh, NAV needs to, one of, the, one of the accounts or one of the transactions or one of the entries that NAV needs to, um, to book into the GL is the payables into the payables account. So NAV will look at the vendor card and conclude that this particular vendor belongs to the domestic group. It will then look into the vendor posting groups setup and it, will f and it will find the line which uh, deals with domestic um, domestic uh, vendors and then it will find this uh, this um, account here uh, 5410 uh, and then it will, it will book the um, the um, the payables the, the payables amount to this particular account Quite similar to the uh, with the customer posting group, when you book a sales transaction, either with a sales order or a sales invoice, NAV needs to book the um, the um, the accounts receivable to a to a an, an account in the GL, and it will look at the customer posting group um, of the customer that this particular transaction relates to. And it will look at the customer posting group and find this one. In this case, it's foreign. It will then go into the customer posting groups uh, setup table and find the line that deals with the foreign group. And then it will find this receivables account, which is uh, 2320. So this is the last slide on posting groups, and it's uh, on VAT posting groups. Once again, once again, here you have the what and the who, uh, where the what relates to the item and the who relates to the either customer or vendor. Typically, when you calculate VAT for in, in, in almost all countries, it really depends on who you're trading with, with and what you're trading. So certain products, for example, can have different uh, VAT percentages and um, also, depending on who you are trading with, you can have different VAT percentages. 
mostly in the EU. If you are a an EU country um, and you trade with the US or some foreign country, um, you wouldn't have to calculate VAT. But if you're trading with a domestic customer or vendor, you would have to calculate VAT. So this is why uh, VAT and also VAT posting groups uh, really is concerned about what and who you are either buying or selling. So when you raise a purchase order or a purchase uh, or a sales order, you do that against a particular either customer or vendor and you do that with some, some items. <clears throat> So on uh, assuming that uh, that you're doing a sale, um, the VAT business posting group on that particular customer card in this case would be national. And um, if you're doing a sale with this item card here, the VAT product posting group on that item card would be VAT 17. So when you click post and and NAV um, um, realizes that this needs a uh, one of those five entries is a VAT entry. It needs to figure out which account to to book this VAT entry to. And it goes into something called VAT posting setup. And once again, it identifies the line based on the VAT 17 and national. So it's this line down here, national and VAT 17. And then if it is a sales um, transaction that we are posting, it needs to post that particular entry to uh, 50, uh, 56, um, 5610. If it is a purchase transaction that we are posting, it's 5630. Actually, you can see uh, another note, uh, uh, note here is that actually the VAT percentage also comes from this line. So when NAV has to calculate the amount, the VAT amount, uh, which is done previous, which was done previously uh, in the posting routine, it actually also goes here and identifies this line. But then it goes here again afterwards, and then it finds uh, either the sales uh, account or the or the purchase account for the VAT. All right, so let's have a, another look at these five entries that occur or uh, occur when uh, when NAV posts a purchase, a FIFO purchase. Um, so NAV is, is uh, as I've mentioned, is perfectly capable of calculating these amounts. But how does NAV know which accounts to post to? If we take these uh, one at a time, the first line the purchase part of this uh, uh, of this transaction is determined by the general general posting setup or more specifically uh, the general product posting group and the general general business posting group so it's a combination of those two the next line is determined by our vendor posting groups the vat is determined by the vat product posting group and vat business posting group coming from the item and from the vendor. Um, the direct cost applied is also determined by the general posting setup or the general product posting group from the item and the general business posting group from the vendor. In fact, it's the same uh, as uh, for the purchase account up here. And finally, we have the, the inventory, um, this, this entry. So this entry is determined based on the inventory posting group from the item and the location that you are buying into as specified on your purchase invoice on the line of your purchase invoice. So the next thing we'll have a look at is uh, to purchase, to post a purchase invoice and we'll then have a look at the transactions and the entries into the GL and we'll try to, I'll try to explain how NAV has figured out where to post the different entries. Just a quick note before we actually go and uh, post a purchase invoice. In order to make NAV behave as we want it to, you should just quickly go into inventory setup here and make sure that automatic cost posting is switched on and automatic cost adjustment. Um, this ensures that um, NAV updates the inventory uh, automatically on the fly and that you do not have to run uh, the batch jobs, um, adjust cost and post cost to GL. So make sure these two are uh, set up as, as you can see here. 
All right, so let's get a purchase invoice posted. So we go to the, to the search bar and write per in purchase invoice here. And we select a new one. And we'll use the vendor, let me just look up here. And we'll take the vendor London Postmaster. And on the lines in the type, you select item. And in number, it was 1920 Antwerp conference table. So we are going to, we want to buy this, uh, we, want, we want to order it for our location green. And we, oh, green, my bad, I can't spell. There we go. Green, um, and we want one of those. And we would like to purchase it for ten dollars. It's significantly less than you usually that, that than you usually buy this particular table for, but ten is a good round number, and that's what we are, are looking at. So we'll do it for ten, and we can just have a look at statistics here and confirm that uh, it is indeed seventeen and a half percent, and VAT is one point seventy five. So that looks good. Um, we we'll just have to put in a vendor invoice number. In fact, I'm, I'm just going to try to post it without that, and you will see that we get an error message. Yeah, vendor invoice number must have a value in purchase header. So we need to fill in this field with something in order to, uh, to make NAV happy. So we are posting it and clicking OK. And now it's posted, so we can find it in posted purchase invoices here in the very bottom. So it's the last one here, and if we go and navigate on this one, we'll see that it has five GL entries just as expected. And when we look at it, um, this is how it looks. I've rearranged the columns a bit right now, so um, uh, so it looks probably looks slightly different than on your uh, screen. But the question now is, how did Nav know to post to these particular accounts? Okay, so to answer that question, I've prepared a number uh, uh, of additional slides. So over here, we'll see a screenshot from that navigate um, that navigate result that we just saw in Nav. And um, on this particular slide, I'm going to first um, explain to you how Nav located the account seventy one ten. And when I've done that, I'll get back to the account uh, direct cost applied. So this one, this one up here, purchase account, is uh, this particular line when, when we navigate. Uh, if you recall, or if you go uh, back into nav, you'll see that the purchase account is 7110. So how did nav figure out how to, uh, that it should book these $10 to this account? The first thing Nav looks at when you um, post, when you click the post button on your purchase invoice, is that Nav identifies the vendor, and then line by line, it has a look at um, at, at the items. So, considering, assuming that that this is the first line, in fact, we only had one line, so Nav will only go through this procedure once. If you had multiple items, Nav would ha have to go this through uh, several times, one for one time for each line. So Nav looks at the vendor we're buying from, and it looks at the item, more specifically the vendor card and the item card. And Nav then looks at the general business posting group on the vendor card and the general product posting group on the item card. Nav then goes into the general posting setup and looks for a column which is called purchase account. So if we look at how this looks in NAV, um, the first thing, so this is the same as what I just explained here, just in a, with, with some other graphics. So NAV, when you, when you hit post, NAV looks at the vendor. In this case, it's London Postmaster. It looks at the vendor card of this uh, vendor and it identifies uh, the general business posting group as national. 
Then nav looks at the item that we are purchasing and it looks on the, at the field called general product poster group and it identifies that as retail. Then nav goes into the general posting setup and identifies one of these lines which matches the national and retail. So it looks in the general business posting group column, it looks for national and it looks in the general product posting group column for retail. And then because nav knows that it's this, this, in this particular case, it's looking for the purchase account. So it starts looking out, outwards here and it finds the purchase account. And that's how nav um, finds this 7110. So the next, the next entry here that I will explain, uh, the reason it's on the same slide is because it also uses the general um, posting groups or post general posting setups to identify um, the account. So once again, the, once again the question is how does NAV identify that the direct cost applied should be booked on 7190? Well, once again NAV go through, goes through this logic here ends up in the general posting setup, but this time it looks not at the purchase account, but at the direct cost applied account. Down here it looks uh, similar to what we just had a look at. It finds the general business posting group. It finds the general product posting group of the item, of the vendor. And then it once again identifies exactly the same line here. And it looks for the direct cost applied, which is 7191. In fact, it actually does these two uh, things in one go, but, but for, for the purpose of demonstration, uh, I thought it was, it was better to split them up in, into two uh, flows or two explain, explanations. So on this slide, we'll look at the, the entry called uh, the entry of, for the payables account. So it's um, this one here. And in the navigate function or in the navigate window, it's uh, the one down here. You see they both have 11.75. So the question for this slide is how did NAV know to book these 11.75 of credits to this particular account? Well, when you post your purchase invoice, NAV knows which vendor it is. It then go goes to this vendor card and looks for the field vendor posting group. And it then, it then takes this vendor posting group field or the content or the value of this vendor, uh, vendor posting group field and it goes into the window called vendor posting groups. And from there it picks up the purchase account. So NAV, it looks like this. First, um, NAV identifies wh which vendor is responsible for this purchase. It, did, it then goes into the vendor card and looks at the vendor posting group and identifies that as domestic. It then, it then opens the window called vendor posting groups and then it identifies the line down here which is uh, equal to domestic and it starts looking outwards here until it finds the account, the account that, it's, that it is looking for. In this case it, it, was looking, it was trying to establish which account was the payables account so it uh, stops in this column here at 5410 and that's how it finds this uh, particular account. So on this slide we'll look at the VAT entry of this one and we'll try to figure out or determine how NAV knew to post to account uh, 5630. So those 1.75 on the Navigate screenshot here, how did it end up on this account? So when you click post, the first thing NAV does is to identify the vendor and then line by line it looks at the item. So let's consider it's, it's, uh, it's now posting uh, into the GL for the first, for the first line on the uh, purchase uh, invoice. Um, it then looks at the vendor card and item card. It looks at the VAT business posting group and on the item card, it looks at the VAT product posting group. Then it goes into the window called VAT posting setup. And as it is hunting for the purchase VAT, it looks at a it looks for the column called purchase VAT account. And in NAV, it looks like this. So first you have your vendor, and NAV looks at the 
field called VAT, Business Posting Group, and it identifies that as being national. It then goes on to the item card of the first item or of the item that it's currently doing this uh, exercise for on the purchase order or on the, or on the purchase invoice. And it finds this item and it looks for the field called VAT product posting group and it identifies that as being VAT 17. So then nav goes into the VAT posting setup and it goes hunting for this particular line with these, this combination of national and VAT 17. And this is the only line here which matches that criteria and when it has found that it goes outwards here and it looks for its purchase account because nav know that, knows that it's looking for the purchase account. So it uh, concludes that, the, that, that this entry here needs to be booked to 5630 and that's why you have a an entry here in your when you navigate of uh, 5630 actually nav has uh, uh, already done this exercise because it also uses the vat posting setup to determine the vat percentage so during the process of calculating the amounts which is before actually figuring out where they need to be posted it also went into this um, this uh, VAT posting setup and picked up that it needed to add 17.5% uh, VAT. But uh, this is how it finds the uh, VAT account. All right, so on this slide, we're going to have a look at the final and last entry of the five, which is the inventory entry. So if, if we look at the... Um, if we look at our screenshot from the navigate functionality in nav, we'll see that it's uh, this particular line here. So once again, the question is, um, how did nav know to post to account 2110? Well, the first thing it looks at, at on our purchase invoice or purchase order is the purchase invoice line. And here it identifies the field called location Next, it looks at that particular item on that particular line and it looks at the item card and it identifies the field called inventory posting group. Then, it, when, then when it has those two pieces of information, it goes into the inventory posting setup and then it identifies the inventory account. So in, in NAV, it looks like this. It goes onto the purchase invoice line of, uh, of the purchase invoice or the purchase order and then it finds the location code on this line so you'll see that this is a line from a purchase invoice or a purchase order it then goes to the item card of this particular item and then it finds the inventory posting group called resale so when it has the location code and it has the inventory posting group it then goes to the screen called inventory posting setup and then it identifies the relevant line here which is the location code green and the inventory posting group resale and then it goes hunting for the inventory account in this setup which is this one and that's how it concludes that 2110 um, or that's how it concludes that the inventory part of these five entries needs to be booked to 2110 Okay, so let's try to uh, set up some new posting groups. I'm going to set up some posting groups so that we are able to perform the posting of a purchase invoice. So let's just uh, dive into it. I'm, I'm going to, uh, the approach is going to be that I will try to, to um, uh, post the purchase invoice and then whenever I get an error message, I'm going to correct that um, and uh, so, so that you will be able to see that as well. So if we go to a purchase invoice here. I'm also going to uh, create a new vendor and a new item. If we click new and enter, the first challenge that we has, have is that we need a new vendor. So let's get the, let's get the, let's create a new vendor here. Let's call this vendor uh, 444. 
And the, 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 the main things that we need to set up in order to make this vendor work is actually the, the posting groups. So let's, uh, in this general business posting group, I'm going to fill that out, that out. But as I haven't yet created a new general business posting group, I'm going to create a new one. And we are going to call, call all of the business, all of the posting groups, I'm going to call new. So this one is new. And now we have an, uh, a, a business posting group. The same goes for the VAT. We still don't have a posting group here or a new one. So I'm going to create a new one and call this one new as well. And vendor posting group is also going to be called new. So new one. All right, so now we have set up this vendor with three new posting groups. They are nowhere near finished setting the, these up, but, um, but uh, this is it for now. So we can select our vendor here on our purchase invoice. And the next thing we need to do is to select an item. So we go here and we want to create a new item. And we will also call this item, let's call it 555 instead of 444 for the vendor. So we will create some new posting groups, general product posting group here. We'll create a new one and we'll call that new. Okay. And we'll create a new VAT product posting group. new and a new inventory posting group there we go so now we have our item and we would like to purchase this for location green but actually already now we get the first error message so if the VAT posting setup does not exist identification fields and values uh, VAT business posting group new and VAT product posting group new. So this error message is really telling us that in the VAT business posting setup there's no line with the combination of new and new. So this is the first error we need to go and uh, correct. So we go to VAT business posting setup uh, sorry VAT posting setup like this and we need to create a line which combines new and new. So we click new to get to, to create a new line. And we want it to be the VA, VAT business posting group of new and the VAT product posting group of new. There we go. This actually sh should solve the error message that we had before. So let's just go back. We're probably going to get, well, we will get another error message, I think. But let's refresh this one. And let's see what happens when we um, try to uh, put this, um, this number or this item in again. Okay, no, no error messages so far. So we want to, to purchase this for location green and we want one of them and we will be paying $10 for this particular item. So let's try to, to post this. This is when we will see a lot of error messages. So post, yes. So vendor invoice, well, this is actually not a posting error message. Uh, vendor invoice number must have a value in, in purchase header. So we'll just give that a vendor invoice number a value and then we'll try to post again. All right, base unit of measure must have a value. So we just have to, actually that was my mistake, that wasn't quite intended but we'll just go back and correct this so base unit of measure must have a value um, advanced and edit that 
that one. So we just have to put in a unit of measure here. So that should be fine. So we'll try to, actually we probably need to delete this line and put it on back on again. So we're going to do that. 555, five. location code green, quantity, and unit cost is going to be 10. And we'll try to post this again. The general posting setup does not exist. Identification fields and values, general business posting group new, and general product posting group new. So the error, error message we got before was related VAT. So this is related the general posting setup. So we'll, go, we'll have to go to the general posting setup and set up this, per, this particular um, combination. So gen post set, general posting setup. And if we look down here, indeed we do not find a, com a line which combines new and new. So we'll click new to put in a new line and we'll select the general business posting group, new, and the product posting group, new. All right, and we will escape. So let's try to post it again. We'll get another error message, but it won't be the same. The inventory posting setup does not exist. Identification fields and values, location code green, and inventory posting group, new. Okay, so we need to go to the inventory posting setup this time, and then we need to put in a new line. So, inventory posting setup. And here we, we actually don't have to click new, we can just put in a new line. Right click, new line, and location go needed to be green and inventory posting group needed to be new. Notice that I'm not setting up any accounts yet because I want the error messages to guide us um, to, to the setting up. So we'll try to post the purchase invoice again. Inventory account must have a value in inventory posting setup. Location code green. Inventory posting group new. Okay, so we need to go to the inventory posting setup and set up the inventory account for this combination. So we'll go back. Inventory posting setup. And let's find the line. So it's this one, combination of location code green and new. and Indeed, the inventory account is not set up. So we'll indicate here which inventory account we want it to post to. And let's just go with one which we can see is already in use. Here we go, and OK. And we'll try to post it again. Direct cost applied account. So apparently the direct cost applied account is not filled in. So we need to go to the general posting setup and we'll need to identify the line new new and set up the direct cost applied account. So general posting setup. And we'll find our new new, which happens to be the one in the bottom here. So we'll have to click edit to do this one. And the direct cost applied account is on the inventory tab here. And actually, if uh, once again, let's let's uh, let's just see which direct cost applied account is used for the other accounts. So we can scroll out here, and it appears that this is not shown. I'm just going to close it, this one down, and then we'll choose a column and I, oh, maybe it was there, direct cost applied account. Okay, it wasn't in, in, in the further back. Usually it's, it's in the back here. So direct cost applied account here. Apparently 7191 is used a lot for this. So we'll use that for, for this one as well. 
So you go edit again and direct cost applied account 7191 like this. Okay. And let's go back and try to post that invoice again and see what it says this time. Post. Yes. Purchase account must have a value in general po general posting setup in the combination of new and new. So let's go and set up the purchase account. General posting setup. Once again. And it's the line down here. And let's just have a look at which account is usually used for purchasing. Well, it looks like something like 7120 would be a good a good uh, choice. So we select the line and click edit. And find our purchase tab here. And 7120, I believe it was. Purchase Retail EU, that should be about right. And we click OK. And we'll try to go and post this invoice again. Payables account must have a value in vendor posting group code new. So in this time we need to go to the vendor posting group setup. And we need to find the payables account. Vendor posting groups. So the new doesn't have a payables account here. So we need to set that up. And we can actually just do this directly on the line. And I'm just choosing another uh, one which is uh, already in use. There we go. And when we try to post this, it's going through. So let's go and have a look at the posted purchase invoice. at the bottom here and when we navigate when we navigate we'll see that we have four entries and not five so why do we have four entries and not five well the explanation is that we didn't set up a percentage in our VAT um, set up. So we haven't, we do, we do not have the VAT um, entry here because it has calculated a VAT of zero. So just uh, for the sake of uh, demonstration, I'm just going to redo the invoice, but this time I'm going to go to the VAT posting setup and uh, put in a VAT percentage of 20. Then we'll see how that, uh, that uh, changes. So VAT posting setup. And we can see here our new new line has a VAT percentage of zero. So let's change that to 20. VAT 20 here. Click OK. And let's try to post another purchase invoice. New. All right. And was it 444? I think it was. Yes. And an item was 555. And to location code green. If you put in another location code here, you'll get some error messages because we only set up the combination, we only set up a line for, uh, for green. So let's put in another quantity here. And before actually we post it, let's just have a look at the statistics. Indeed, now it does uh, pick up the 20% VAT. So we click OK here and let's post that one. Yes. Uh, vendor invoice number must have a value. So it's this field needs to be filled out. And we can post it again. Purchase VAT account. Well, this is a, another posting uh, 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 missing uh, account. 
which makes uh, makes perfect uh, sense. The reason we didn't get it before was there was no VAT calculated, but now it actually wants to post um, some VAT, I think $2 of VAT, um, to a purchase VAT account. And uh, it's now complaining that the purchase VAT account must have a value or must be set up in the VAT posting setup. And it also says you should have a look at the the, the VAT business posting group new or the line that combines the VAT posting group new with the VAT product posting group new. So let's just go and have a look at that. VAT post setup. And yes, purchase account is blank. So we'll edit that and we'll ask it to post also to uh, 5631. So we'll have to go to the purchases tab here and purchase VAT 5631. There we go. Okay. And let's try to post this one again. Okay, so it went through now. So let's go and have a look at the posted purchase invoice. And at the bottom we have another one for the same vendor. And when we navigate, we will see now five entries. So these are the five entries. We have some VAT here of two. We have an account payable here. We have a purchase, and then we have the the the, the pulling the, pulling it out of the profit and loss, and putting it putting it into the the inventory 